in solving problems on isotopy, we have to take note that the relative atomic mass, the relative atomic mass of any element is given to be the percentage abundance of the first isotopes times the mass number of the first isotope over 100 plus the percentage abundance of the second isotope times the mass number of the second isotope over 100. Now, let's bring out the parameters. Now, you can see this is the element Y and this is the first isotope and also this is the second isotope. Recall, the value up here is the mass number, whereby the value down here is the atomic number. And we, re and we said that M1 denotes the mass number of the first isotope, and M2 denotes the mass number of the second isotope. Now, let's determine the percent abundance, same as the relative abundance of each isotope. And we said that this is the relative abundance, same as the percent abundance. Now, what is the relative atomic mass given in the question? The relative atomic mass of element Y is 12.35. Now, let's impute parameters. The relative abundance, sorry, the relative atomic mass of the element Y is 12.35 equals the percent abundance of the first isotope. You can see that is what we are asked to determine. So we make it X times the mass number of the first isotope. What is the mass number of the first isotope? The mass number of the first isotope is simply 4. So we say x times 12 over 100. So we say divide 100 plus the percent abundance of the second isotope. Now, we are still asked to determine the percent abundance of the second isotope. So what, so what do we do? We simply say 100 minus x for the percent abundance of the second isotope because percentage equals 100. So we say 100 minus x times the mass number of the second isotope. 13 is the mass number of the second isotope. So we say 13 over 100. So let's proceed. So we have 12.35 equals x times 12 gives us 12x over 100 plus, now let's open the bracket. So 13 times 100, 13 times 100 get 1, 3, 0, 0 minus 13x because 13 times x and also 30, 13 times 100 dividing 100 now let's take lcm so we take lcm taking lcm for both we get 100 just one so we take 12.35 equals 12x plus 1300 minus 13x over 100. After we do this, we cross multiply. When we cross multiply, we get 1, 2, 3, 5 equals 12x plus 1, 3, 0, 0 minus 13x. Now, we collect like terms. We have 1, 2, 3, 5 minus 1, 3, 0, 0 equals 
equals 12x minus 13x. So when we do this, we get 1, 2, 3, 5 minus 1, 3, 0, 0 gives us minus 65 equals 12x minus 13x. So we have minus x. So x, when we, the minus sign cancel minus sign, so x becomes 65%. So basically, the relative abundance of the first isotope, which is y12, equals 65%. You can see initially the value for x now is 65%. Now, what is the relative abundance of the second isotope, which is y13? Recall we said to get the percentage or the relative abundance of the second isotope, we simply say 100 minus x. So basically, this is for the first isotope, which is y12. So what will be the relative abundance of the second isotope, which is y13? So what do we do? We simply say for this, it is 100 minus x. So the relative abundance for the second isotope becomes 100 minus the value for x, which is 65. So we get 35%. So the relative abundance of the second isotope is 35%. Now, basically, this is how to solve questions on isotope. Thanks for watching.